hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be creating a data frame from list it is a python lead code question question number 2877 of the category easy so let's begin with this so our question is write a solution to create a data frame from a 2d list called student data this one what is a 2d list 2d list is basically a list inside another list so as you can see over here this is our input this is our list and it consists of more number of list inside of it this 2d list contains the ids and the ages of some students the data frame should have two columns student id and age and be in the same order as the original 2d list the result format is in the following example what is a data frame data frame is like a hash table which consists of key value pairs you can think of it as a table over here so we need to convert this 2d list into a dictionary with the column names student id and age and this is what we have been given already so what we are doing first is we are importing pandas library and giving it an alias pd df is used to create functions df is used to define functions so def and this is our function name which is create data frame and this is our parameter it has one parameter which is student data colon list and inside that we have another list of type int so this is 2d list list inside another list and this is the name of the list so this is our input parameter so this is what we are given a 2d list as a parameter so whenever this function will be called a 2d list will be in the parameter it will be sent with a 2d list and it should return pd dot data frame so this function should return a data frame pd is an alias for panda so pd dot data frame and we need a colon over here and indentation is a must in python so here is the indentation and let's write the logic since our function needs to return a data frame we need to write return over here pd dot data frame this is an inbuilt function and i will write student data what is student data student data is the name of the 2d list when i simply write return pd dot data frame it will return a data frame so the 2d list will be converted to data frame using this inbuilt function there's one more thing that we need to do but i will first run this so this is our output with headers 0 comma 1 because we have not specified the name of the headers the name of the column names so it will by default give it these numbers 0 1 if there were to be more columns it would have been 0 1 2 3 and these are the values so right now our output is partly correct like this part is correct but over here the column headers would be 0 and 1 so we need to rename it for that i am going to add another parameter so comma columns and i will give it the names and these are going to be the column names student underscore id comma sorry comma age because these are the column headers that we need in our output let's run this it has been accepted and now it's correct the headers are student and age and these are the values this is correct let's submit it and this is correct you can go to editorial and you can read this whole thing what is a 2d list a list of lists where each inner list represents a row of data data frame is a two-dimensional label data structure in pandas first of all we are importing pandas as pd and this is the function definition 
create data frames. This line defines a function name create data frame that takes in a 2D list as an argument and returns a data frame. So the input is a 2D list and it returns a data frame. PD.DataFrame will allow us to transform our 2D list into a data frame. The diagram below offers a visual representation. So let's see this. PD.DataFrame student data would convert it to this. So earlier it was this 2D list 1, 15, 2, 11 and now it's converted into 1, 15, 2, 11, 3, 11, 4, 20 but the headers are 0 and 1. You can see that the resultant data frame has headers labeled as 0 and 1. This is because all data frames are labeled and will create headers by default using integers starting from 0. When we add the second argument columns, columns is equal to column name which is a variable and column names is student id comma age exactly the same thing we are just using a variable name instead but the logic is the same so what they are doing is when you add the argument columns that would be added as header so student id and age would be written over here and it's the exact same thing they have used a variable name over here so column names is equal to student id comma age we have directly used that in our argument i hope that was helpful and if it was please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and share it with your friends comment down and check out our other playlists thank you so much for watching